something from me. Who is at the door? I Binge Pipe continues to stick with its commitment to present You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, how can we monetize joy? Hey there, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. Is what I'd say if I were here, but I'm not. Leave a message at the peak. Eight players. Well, that never gets old for me. And since we've got some folks in overflow seating, I'll be tacking an audience bonus onto every question. The more audience members get a question right, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really whiffs it, that right answer is going to be worth major moolah. Okay, let's hit it. Time for question one. To begin with, Johnny Cashed. If Johnny Cash had been more medically precise, he would have changed his iconic line to I shot a man in Reno just to watch him emesis, watch him coagulate, watch him exsanguinate, or watch him extravasate. Okay, let's take a look. That's a fancy term for blowing chunks. <laughs> this answer's a little thin. <laughs> oh, wait, you wouldn't get why that's funny. <laughs> Exsanguination is the process of dying due to loss of blood. It kind of feels like falling into a burning ring of oxidation combustion. And how would our lovely audience do? Good news! This audience is clueless. That means that right answer is worth even more. We'll see if your luck holds out. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Here we have. I'm going to kill you. Please RSVP. The three things I remember about Hannibal Lecter are that he eats people, he has impeccable manners, and he really loves to lean into the campy wordplay with his victims. What message would Hannibal Lecter leave for Hannibal Burris if he had to reschedule eating him? I'm not trying to play you, I just want to do this right. Sorry to stand you up, but I already ate. We will have to congress later, my fellow man. Or, hope this doesn't start a war in general with you. Let's see who got it. No, not Hannibal Barca, everyone's favorite Carthaginian commander and uncredited creator of the first Barca lounger. Which is what you were thinking, of course. <laughs> Hannibal Burris is a stand-up comedian. And if you stand up a stand-up, he probably just goes home to lay down. Why don't we do it with free? Introducing... As erotic as watching paint dry. And pick a safe word because it's time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's a sexy Danielle Steele novel or a shade of gray offered by the Bear Paint Company. Don't think too hard, I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between a Danielle Steele novel or a shade of gray. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Good. Skyline Steel. Evening Hush. Waters. <laughs> Reflecting pool. Find 
things. Most of you, uh, skated by on that one, but you all, you really dropped the ball. Uh-oh! Binge Pipe diagnosticates that someone is pouting. Sounds like it's screw time. Haha, <laughs> that's correct. Binge Pipe employee Cookie Masterson Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. Connecting with consumers makes me feel like I could be alive. Why not try? These lakes are just okay. Based on volume, which of these so-called Great Lakes is the least great? Lake Superior. Well, what do you know? Player 7 unleashed that screw. Hashtag, you're it. What'd you guys pick? It's not you, it's your answer. <laughs> While Lake Ontario is smaller in surface area, Erie is the smallest and least great by volume. I didn't even give Lake Michigan the dignity of being a choice. You're not special, Michigan. Very nice screw job, player seven. Here's your extra cash. How about this one? With her spoon or without her spoon? I keep misremembering the title of HBO's Big Little Lies. Which of these wrong titles most accurately describes the real title? Alliterative slander? Uh-oh. Yeah, player six just screwed everybody. No vowels for you. Hope you like what you picked. Forwards or backwards, you're still wrong. <laughs> Big and little are contradictory terms, but in the title Big Little Lies, they describe the same thing, making it an oxymoron. Other popular oxymorons include Jumbo Shrimp and Charming Trivia Show Host. Wh what? Wh which writer wrote that? That it's time to fire CJ. Nicely done with that screw, Player 6. Here's that cash. <laughs> Round 1 is officially behind us. Here's who's going to live the longest. I mean, current score rankings. Currently, these players have the same number of points. <laughs> Weird. And on the other end of the spectrum, these players are making everyone feel bad. Looks like someone needs a little more help. And don't forget, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and did I mention all the money's doubled in round two? I am feeling joy. Six trombones is not a parade. This one's known as, she's a total Dharma queen. Which Buddhist is living their best life? The one reincarnated in the animal realm, the one reincarnated in the Deva realm, the one reincarnated in the ghost realm, or the one reincarnated? Brace yourself. Okay, player eight just screwed everyone. Didn't you say you wanted to change your name? picked what? Not in this life. <laughs> in the six realms of rebirth, the spirits with the most karma transcend to the Deva realm, aka the God realm. And 
that realm looks good on you. Work it, diva. Nicely screwed, playwright. I believe this belongs to you. Oh, and somebody's got a new name. I'd call that an improvement. Las Bears should moke de moi. Set. And now, she'll also respond to Gracie. And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a... Flitter fits nutscum. Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, get ready. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what popular song it rhymes with. Call the stout cat Grace and pay no attention to that punctuation. I only care about one thing. And it is deep frequencies. Focus exclusively on the low pitched range. Let's make sense of this, shall we? Oh, and as for you guys, I saw what you typed. Okay, it didn't escape me, but it's just odd that this is still a thing for people. Back in the day, it was like, oh my god, you type this in, and then he talks to you. Yes, it was groundbreaking in the 90s. I mean, so was air travel at one point. But today, is anyone like, it's not possible for this thing to be up in the sky? Anyway, if you want to use direct so bad, look at your device. Now, back to the game. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. It's time for close but not close enough encounters. Which title character is an alien? The Martian, the Giver, the Thing, or Her? What'd you guys pick? Anybody see my wrong ants? Oh, here it is. <laughs> the monster that attacks an Arctic research station did in fact come out of a ship from outer space. I hate confusing titles. I walked out of the Iron Lady furious it wasn't a movie about Meryl Streep fighting crime in a suit of armor. No, no, no. Feast your eyes upon this. Binge pipe gives back. Oh, okay, it's one of those questions. Binge pipe recommends. Because you enjoyed Boss Baby and Baby Driver, we think you would enjoy photographs by this artist, Ansel Adams. Oh, watch out. Okay, Player 7 just screwed the room. Uh, let's flip the script on this question. Let's see how that shook out. Anne Geddes is a photographer famous for taking pictures of babies. Aww, of course I could be a great photographer too, if I kept coming across pumpkins full of toddlers. Yeah, good thinking with that screw player 7. Have some cash. Next up, Parks and Wrecked.
If the cast of Parks and Rec became tour guides, what would it sound like when Aubrey Plaza passed the Plaza Mayor? To our left is a Dallas meeting ground for losers. This is a Mexico City hotspot, or whatever. Founded in Who Cares, here's a Venice Plaza, or this Madrid Square is a perfect place to die. And how do we do? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. Plaza Mayor is a popular public space in Madrid. But if you prefer colder temperatures, you could go on an Amy Polar expedition. <clears throat> Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. Ah, I see you already know the rules. Here's your clue. It's a numbers game. I hope you know your number titles. Good luck. Seven takes it! Congratulations, Player 7. What a standard, everyday, run-of-the-mill win. Next time, maybe you'll hear what I say when you get an impressive score. Well, until then... You don't know Jack! Tickles and drop drops, they are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Sorry, what was the question? Hello, listeners. If you love podcasts, you'll love our new show. We collect clips of everybody's favorite part of podcasting, apologizing for the quality of the podcast. Please enjoy every excuse, justification, and admission of laziness.